Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is Cynthia Toy, your Gypsy's Toolbox, <laughs> your TV host. <laughs> I'm your TV, I got it all mixed up already. <laughs> and I changed the name, okay? Let's see, I went, I went from Magician's Toolbox to Gypsy's Toolbox, okay? So let's start over. This is Gypsy's Toolbox, your TV host, Cynthia, <laughs> Cynthia Toy. I don't know, I'm all mixed up this morning, so it's okay. It's been one of those days. <laughs> this is episode three and we're doing emotional freedom tech technique <laughs> tech, <laughs> i don't know i get it. i get it i'm telling you i'm all mixed up today <laughs> the reason why i do come on to this show live is to really really teach you guys about the tools that i have and in my toolbox the reason why i come on live onto youtube all together is i do believe that we have all been misled and misguided from our emotional selves and we're operating from lack then <laughs> we're operating from doubt and insecurity we got these lower vibrational energies going around in our background as our baseline go-to energy and I want to be here to help us shift our energy around for our go-to to be from to from going operating from love and above and laughter and play joy happiness peace and harmony passion and desire let's get our lives a rolling let's get this show a moving let's and let's see what we got it going <laughs> let's see let's see the um emotional freedom um uh technique it's eft is what that's the short name eft and and it is actually uh was uh, created uh, it's from um uh, it's a chinese medicine and it deals with uh um hot spots energy hot spots that are going on in inside of our <laughs> inside of us <laughs> you know we are all aligned in some way or some other but when we're doing this tapping it actually shifts things around to align them up to it restores the balance within within our body it restores the energy so um we um there are certain things that we got to do are we tap on certain points and each point has to do with um that taps into a certain meridian <laughs> yeah those yucky lower vibrational energies we don't want them but we have them we got to move past them right <laughs> but um and uh, this is uh, when we there's one that we have the side of the hands and the side of the hands is sometimes called or we can do it by the side of the hands or 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 right here on the wrist and that part is actually working with our small intestines in fact all the tapping has something to do with our internal self that <clears throat> we're aligning this is these are alternative me medicines that i'm coming in to talk to you about when i'm not going live on my other show it's this is uh, things that are i'm using to help myself stay in alignment or stay in balance or tools that i've have have in my toolbox box that i know about that I've used within my time frame to even heal my own self with my own condition, which I used to have fibromyalgia. So um, when we're tapping on the karate point, which is here, but I always do this point, and that is working on our smaller intestines. Um, I guess I should tell you what all the points are. That the next point, <laughs> I'm gonna just tell you one and tell you what that point is as we go along. The second point is on the top of the head, and and it's. Um, the governing vessel vessel this which right here i mean it's not the the top of the head the top of the head's here why is that let me hold on let me see uh eyebrow the eyebrows this is the eyebrows is dealing with the with the uh, bladder the bladder medium and the reason why the top of the head is on my notes is backwards <laughs> and that's one of the last ones i actually do and um then on the side of the eyes is the gallbladder it's, deals with the gallbladder when we're tapping on the side of the eyes when we're doing this it's actually tapping into the gallbladder area and then we have um, uh, underneath the eyes is going right into the stomach so it's like massaging our inner self by doing these tools that we're using and then we got under the nose is um, what, what's it say it says it, 
it, it doesn't tell me where it's going. Then we go under the nose. It's just a governing vessel. Maybe it ties into all of them. Maybe that's what that means. And then we go under the chin. Well, the under the nose and under the chin, I kind of hit that. I'm always, when I'm doing my tapping, I'm always doing them at the same time. Those two just, you know, I, I kind of like, <laughs> take shortcuts because I'm I'm a person that likes to go faster than <laughs> than slower. I'm just I'm just saying because I I guess I have um what is that? It's um attention deficit disorder. I guess I ought to tap on that. Maybe it'll slow me down. <laughs> and then we have uh, we we tap on our collarbone, which deals with our kidneys. You know, let's go inside our kidneys and rub them. <laughs> let's take care of those babies. <laughs> let's take care of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, then we have um, underneath the arms here is another tapping point, which sometimes I miss, you know, because I tap around it. <laughs> but it's okay. But it's the spleen. It's dealing with the spleen. So it's, it's the eyebrows, the side of the eyes, underneath the eyes, and then underneath the nose and the chin, and then the chest, and then the side, and then on top of the head is the final one, you know, on top. And we will do that in a routine in the middle of saying some things to help release the emotionals, the emotions that are... Uh, attached or blocked inside of us that are actually keeping us stuck in this lower vibration. So like um, Molly, if we want to deal with um, what, what did you say you were suffering from a uh, hopelessness, we can tap on the hopelessness feeling as we're going through the tapping today. So it's really important for us, yeah, it's really important for us to go ahead and um, know about some of these tools that I have to actually help reduce the stress and the anxiety that, that come from our feelings, that come from our thoughts, that come from our, our mindset, <laughs> that actually build up these feelings inside of us to help our own well-being, for our own wellness. Again, the things that I'm teaching you, most of the things are, are, are free. So it's, it's really, it is much needed for us to know about this. Again, I healed myself from fibromyalgia. So these tools, all of them make a big difference. The first most one was my mindset, but the other things help shift and move things around. Uh, they can improve um, our thought process. They've been proven to be effective in PTSD and CPTSD. They can release blockages of negative energy that's going on around our bodies. The tapping rewires the brain's responses to threats and to the thoughts and the emotions that are associated with the threats going on. Even if it's a small threat, whatever that threat is, because threats can be of anything. It doesn't have to be something big. It can be something small, something just as small as... Maybe it, maybe it, maybe this could, it could be from worry. Even if we just take the worry, like maybe I was like, maybe I stayed in bed all day and I worried that I didn't get anything done. We can tap that out so the worry moves away. Because if you stayed in bed all day, there must be a reason for it. You know, your body might have needed an extra rest because we did go through this major full moon that was shifting things around from the last hundred years of ways of doing and being is like so we might have just recently gone through a major download of shifts that we're going through and so we're going to <laughs> yeah me too that's how I was able to say that but see I gave myself permission to be there <laughs> learning that <laughs> see look at we're all in bed look at we're all in bed all together look at <laughs> just we've been all in separate beds but we've all been in bed together but it's it's uh, because to me it's because of the major reset I don't have that note in front of me but I, we have gone through it's a hundred a hundred years of shifting and moving and, and well, we do get depressed when we're in that position because we don't understand what the shift is or why it's happening. 
It also has helped with weight loss, you know, so um, when we're actually doing the tapping, what we do is we want to bring in the area that we're dealing with and what myself I'm going to bring in the emotions, the feelings, right? And, um, but if we were wanting to do weight loss, you know, we would tap on the weight loss with a series of different words that we're saying through the tapping sequence. And um, the weight loss would, be, you know, we would do that we do this tapping sequence six or eight weeks in a row or something <laughs> sad professional disorder too yeah yeah it, it yeah it is tapping is really I, I mean it's perfect perfect I am actually going to do a round of tapping here after I do a commercial break but um it helps release widespread dopamine and release it in our body and it treats insomnia <laughs> which we've all had, right? <laughs> we've all gone through that. <laughs> so um, a lot of times when I tap just for, I mean, the tapping time really is supposed to be anywhere from 5, 15 minutes to be really effective. But um, and myself, I find myself tapping. I'm, again, I have, I'm just, what do they call that? I said it already once that I just like to get things done faster. So um a, a tapping for a minute sometimes really just shifts the the emotional energy around so I can get up and get something done or do something what when you know something is in my way not allowing myself to shift or move around properly so I do want to throw in my little commercial as I go forward because you know there's just um things that I ha I'm available for that maybe you guys don't know and I like to show that and share with you different tools as I'm going forward and the only way and I may forget as I'm talking so I have had all these commercials made in between and so I like to share them with you I'm going to share that and then when I come back I'm going to go actually go through a round of tapping with you so please don't go anywhere stay around for the part that's going to help you the most so we can all at least get up for a little bit today, right? <laughs> get something done. <laughs> what did I get done today? I got dressed. I got my show ready. <laughs> yeah, ooh, I can pat myself on the back for that. I, and after I got my show ready, I went back down. <laughs> then I got back up to watch Harry Be Happy. Yeah, I was over there <laughs> listening to Harry Be Happy. I actually fell asleep a little bit doing that too. But, you know, I give myself permission. Good thing I have my alarm set so I could be here for all of us. Not just for me, not just for you, but for all of us as a collective okay I'll be right back let's see if I got that commercial there it is Okay, and so like when I'm doing the tapping, mostly as I'm normally going through some kind of emotions, like it, rather it's conflict, confusion, or defensiveness, or doubt, fear, insecurity, lesson, not whole, not complete, this heaviness, uh, these insecurities, and we're going to uh, bring in uh, today, we're going to bring in the fatigue that's going on between us all, and the um, what it is, what the shift, we're going through this shift as we are going through an upgrade. We are going through an upgrade. So, um, yeah, bringing this to, to a conscious awareness and to what it is that we actually have available to allow ourselves to 
I mean, it really does shift the energy around. So this is, let's, let's just go ahead, and go ahead and get into it. Let's get past some of this. Um, um, let's get past some of this hopelessness, this, this you know, non-movement energy, giving ourselves permission for it to be there, but yet we're shifting it around. We're not giving it permission to stay there now. <laughs> this is what that this is what we're releasing from the last hundred years. A hundred years. That's what this moon cycle has done. And we're all, you know, I'm glad I came onto the show to see that everybody is going through the same thing. I, I know that we're all being affected. It has been it's been really challenging like yesterday I was on the show I was not on the show yesterday but I was talking to a lot of my followers that we were all going through something I was talking them all through whatever it is that they're going through but it's all heavy so anyhow this is how I start is I deeply and completely love and accept myself I want you guys to tap along with me I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. For all this tiredness, for all this heaviness, for all this fatigue, for all this less than feeling of a way, for all this that's kept me in bed all day, I release, I release, I release it. <clears throat> I set it free. I set it free from being with me. From all this lower vibrational feeling of a way that's taking my energy away, that's making me sleep so much or stay down so much. Even this reset, give myself permission to go through the reset. And thanks for letting me know that there's a reset going on. So I can truly, fully give myself that whole permission to free myself from this time, this downtime, this downtime we're going through. I can give myself permission Today, I can give myself permission to take this time, this downtime. I, this is a top one. <laughs> to, to let these emotions be free. These emotions that have been tied up for us for the last hundred years plus, that have been settling down into our body, these less than, not whole, not complete emotions that has brought this fatigueness upon us, that has brought this hopelessness upon us. I give myself permission today to release these lower vibrational ways, to release, to release them, to release them with all my will, with all my might. I set them free for I want to replace them with strength with energy, with courage, with laughter, with play, with excitement in my day. I want to replace those lower vibrations, <laughs> those, I want to replace those lower vibrational feelings of a way. Replace them with these higher vibrational feelings, these ones, that give me strength, these ones that give me momentum, these ones that give me vibrancy, these ones that give me life. That's what I'm asking my internal self to shift around from those last generational ways. Let's up grade this generation, these next hundred years of generations. Let's upgrade it, upgrade it 
with this strength that we have that's hidden inside of us. Let's bring it out of hiding. Let's bring the courageousness in us, that one that wants to come out, not just wants to, that does come out. Let's bring that forward into our energetical way, into our inner being, all from the inside outwardly. Let it be free. We're freeing ourselves from those past generational ways of feeling less than, not whole, complete. We're bringing in our worthiness because we are worthy. We're worthy to live this life with vibrancy, not with lack, but with abundance. Shift that energy <clears throat> into our day. To bring this into our harmony, into our way for each and every one of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for this shift. In Jesus' name, amen. Or whoever it is you pray to. <laughs> I was feeling tingles in my head. I'm feeling a little bit lighter. Feel more present. It does take like it's like six or eight sessions. You don't have to do it all the time, I, but six to eight sessions to take an awareness, something that's an awareness that's going on in our lower vibration, which we got a lot. So it really takes a lot more than six or eight because we need to deal with each of them on on a more vibrancy, on a more detailed level. So like if you're starting to go through anxiety in the day and you're sitting in your car and you're on your way somewhere, you can just simply tap here, just start tapping and just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the words you say, the words are not important. What, what's important about the words is, I'm feeling this tense, I'm feeling this anxiety. You know, you want to say what it is that you're going through at that moment. I'm in the car now. I'm in the car, so I can't do all that tapping all the way. I'm driving now, you know. <laughs> but to be doing the tapping, talking about what that lower vibrational energy is, whether it's anxiety, stress, that car in front of me, they won't get out of my way. <laughs> you know, the, get that stress out of the way. And then let's flip it, flip it and say, I choose to bring the calmness within. I choose to bring the energy flow that I need to complete my day, to go through my day. It doesn't have to be the whole cycle all the time, but the whole cycle actually deals with all our insides. It's like getting a back rub, but now we're tapping to give our intestines that rub, to shift them around to let them know how much we love them. See how much we care for them. I probably am going to, uh, when I end this show, I'm probably just gonna stay on and uh, go ahead and pull out the cards for just a collective reading, not for a whole reading, just do a collective, to see what's going on as a collective and see what happens there. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring in my Medicine Woman deck for this show and it won't be like the other show. Um, just to um, bring anything else out into our awareness. Or maybe I should just do it without ending the part of the show. <laughs> the divine butterfly wings fluttering. Yeah, it, it does. It does shift things around. Um, I do want to give you guys permission, let you guys give yourself permission to that bed rest that you've been getting, that downtime that you've been getting, because we have been going through a major, a major shift that is unconscious to most that we're going through this shift so that now you guys know why. Just surrender and give yourself permission 
so we're not being hard on ourselves. So we can s step out of um, feeling as if we're hopeless, but we're step into taking we're in that we're turning hopeless into caretaking. I'm taking care of myself. I'm giving myself permission to do this bed rest to take care of the shift that's going on on a worldwide level <laughs> and an earthly level. <laughs> it's bigger than the earth. It's it's universal level. I am giving myself permission to have this downtime to shift on up. So I guess I'm just, I want to try to keep the show to 30 minutes because uh, there's reasons for that. Yeah, I'm going to end this and I'm going to just come right on back to do the reading. Uh, there's reasons why I want to do 30 minutes because uh, if I, if I expand it out to another TV hosting show, then I can actually um, do a time slot. So I'll be right back for those that want to stay for the reading. Otherwise, I see you guys again next week. And I hope you enjoy the name change. I changed the name. The Magician's Toolbox sounds cool. I love it. I love it a lot. But it's my toolbox. So I changed it to Gypsy's Toolbox. You guys can let me know. What do you think? What do you think? You let me know in the chat. I will be right back. So don't go anywhere if you want to tap into the Gypsy Medicine Woman reading. Okay. <laughs> see if I can find my bottom screen here because I move everything around here and let's see it's working all right yeah it's working I gotta get the video up there we go all right here you go hello everyone thank you thank you all for stopping into the show we got Molly and Liz I'm so happy you get guys showed up and Andrew woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Andrew's and I we just we just hop around from Harry Biappi show over to my show <laughs> they were back to back today and and um then who else showed up today? We had um, Pamela. Pamela, yeah, go back and watch the first part of the show. I, I know that you were really busy and everything. Go, just do go back and hit that up. And, and um, yeah, and someone who we're just going to do just a little collective reading here right now from the Medicine Woman deck. Let's see what the cards have to say. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? We're going through a rebirth. Isn't that the truth? I'm telling you guys, we are going through a rebirth. That's the perfect card to come up. It is so true. We are we are being realigned, readjusted. <laughs> yeah, it's a good morning to all of us. No matter where we're sleeping in the world, we've all been asleep all day. <laughs> and now to the other side of the world, they've been sleeping all night. <laughs> we all been on the same time clock lately. <laughs> Let's see what else is going on. Yeah, this is. Let me have that card. That was just a peep. That's us overcoming doubt. That's the peep. Mm -hmm. Overcome, let, it, let ourselves overcome any doubt, any lesson, any story that is makes us feel depleted or not whole. You know, those are the things that we want to make sure that we're letting go of, that not allowing our emotional self to define ourselves, mm -hmm. that, that we're being led and we are being guided into this new direction. This new direction to really truly wake us up, to allow ourselves to be operating in this higher vibrational way, to allow ourselves to truly be the person that we're really meant to be. So we are lining ourselves up, we're tuning ourselves up, we're tuning our vibrational frequency up. So we can truly bring home the gifts that we're meant to be give, bringing home, going out into the world Doing the things that we're meant to truly be doing as a collective to help heal our souls, to help heal us all on this higher vibrational frequency. By taking the time and loving ourselves, 
and holding that love that we have for others, allowing our emotional selves to move through us, to be at peace with them as they come through us. Nice, nice. What else the cards have to say through, I'm going to say through this hundred year generational movement. It is about learning, you know, when we're learning to love ourselves, then we can come out and love another. We can share that love with another. That one that we have in our heart, that one we think about all the time, we can truly come together when we come to this healing way. When we're living in this space of wealth, the wealth is feeling worthy, feeling this wholeness, feeling this completeness, feeling the abundance. It's a feeling I'm talking about. What else the cards would like to say? That's again to over making sure, making sure we're overcoming any doubt, any judgment, any perception to making sure that we're listening to our intuitive self, making sure we're listening to our wisdom that's deep down hidden within. So we can come out here and dance, the dance, what we're meant to be dancing in this life. So we can be moving forward with this vibrancy. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Divine timing showed up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm only here for a little bit more. You missed the first part of the show, but that's all right. It's recorded. You can go back and watch it. But, and then um, this vibrancy. Now we're moving forward with this vibrancy and because we took the time to do this seeking. You know, we're seeking for that inner peace, that beauty, that love within. We're seeking for this higher vibrational frequency. So we're moving through life with grace with ease, with peace, with harmony. So we truly can come together with that one to share your life with. That you can see the love in everything that's taken place. We can even see the love in those lower vibrational ways. Hey, divine timing. Ooh, thank you for the, the, the tip here. <laughs> Are you wanting a reading? I didn't come out to do readings today. but anyway, Thank you. Thank you for the tip. When we truly, truly, truly allow ourselves to come into harmony, to come into vibrancy, to get in tuned with yourself, get in tuned with your flow, rather slow pace or fast pace, but you're finding your tune. It's like we're tuning our instrument up. What is the instrument? Our mind and our body and souls working together as a team. Yeah, loving it, loving it. Mm -hmm. What else the cards have to say about the EFT tapping and what we've all been going through? It is about balancing ourselves cleaning up our inner self, cleaning up the world, so we can lift the world up with ease, with peace and harmony. Sharing is caring. Thank you, thank you, Divine Timing. For the um, donation, just because he cares. This is sharing, that caring. We are sharing out to this world, this higher vibrational frequency that we're choosing to live in. Because we're changing the vibration from what it's been. From that lower one to this higher one. So we can truly be operating from peace and harmony and laughter and play. Be operating from our passionate self each and every day. What we're doing. Raising the vibration of our temple. The temple is your body. We're raising the vibration so we can feel that we're flying in the world above the rest. Not to be above the rest, but we feel like we're flying. Like it's like ease. It's a breeze. It's simple. Anything else cards want to say that ties in to the show today? 
We have been washing and cleaning out the older, lower vibrational way. We're taking it, rinsing it out, cleaning it up, cleaning it, cleaning it, cleaning it up. So we can come out here and do our work, do our mission as the way we are meant to do it. So we can truly have this will of fortune movement and harvest into our being, harvest ourselves, being worthy. You are worthy. You are abundant. You are wealthy. Tapping into the divine healing energy. That's right. So you can feel the work you guys have done to bring this worthiness of yourself in. To feel appreciated. Knowing. That you're an amazing, beautiful soul doing the work, taking the time to love yourself first so we can go out there and share the news to the world, to the people, one person at a time, three people at a time, many people at a time. The more in alignment we get, at moving those emotional feelings around, seeing seeing the the vibrancy with inside of ourselves, seeing the light with inside of ourselves, the easier life becomes, the more of a flow it begins to be. And anything else here before I end the show? So we can feel that 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 energy that one that gives us that passion, that desire, so we can truly live our lives with, with, with a higher vibrational energy, that with excitement, because we got that passion in there. We got that desire running our lives instead of that lack, that doubt, that insecurity. No, we're now operating from passion, from desire. So you can feel the worth within because you took the time to nurture yourself, to nurture your soul, to nurture your being. That's why Gypsy Medicine Woman is here to help you guys nurture your soul, to nurture your being so you can truly step in to what it is that you're supposed to be doing in this lifetime, not what we've been taught. Because we're flipping the script around to better. We're flipping our emotional story around to better. To that one that we can feel our worth, our value. We can feel the abundance in this world. That we can bring this higher vibrational energetical feeling into our everyday living. We're, we're going, we're flipping the script. We're changing things around the will of fortune we're bringing a brand new life forward because we chose to because we got sick and tired <laughs> of living off that lower one but we are giving ourselves permission to lay down more when we need to and I'm giving you guys permission for that lay down time that you've done today surrender let it go don't be hard on yourself about it let it go let yourself know that you're going through a major reset and especially if you're showing up here too, on top of that, is because you care enough about yourself, you care enough about your soul's journey to be taking care of it. Because I know healing is going on on this channel, for certain, for sure. We're healing the mind, the body, and the soul with all these little tools we got. Myself, I was talking to everybody on <laughs> my reading. <laughs> so, uh, you're not feeling of that positive in my life right now, such as a struggle. I am not feeling any of that positive in my life. Okay, so Molly.
it is um let's hey andrew oh thank you thank you thank you molly um i know that <clears throat> let's try to change the word struggle around that yeah you know, life is throwing challenges at me but challenges are things that we can work through um because struggle is more of a heaviness and the challenge is something that can be moved through we, it does, to me, our emotional self does start with our mindset. Change of struggle. Blessing is very simple. The universe responds to what we think. Um, yeah, you are working on it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. That's how I know that you're working on it. So, um, and, you know, divine timing. I mean, he, he's a candidate of going through his lower emotional feelings, too. He used to be a whole different person. But today, I've seen him waking up. You know, he's not allowing the emotions to run the show. And so when I'm here talking about the self-care that we need to do for that self-love, are, yeah, our thoughts become things. So that's why, you know, that's why when you're still talking about it, and, you know, at first we're talking about, you know, the struggle, and we're talking about, it's okay to talk about it here because or the hopelessness we're we're going to be talking about we're allowing those in that we are not do not allow yourself to be defined by that allow yourself to allow the energy to go through you i want you to be more aware say i'm aware that this hopeless feeling is inside of me right now but this hopeless feeling does not define me I'm aware of these struggles that feel like, I'm aware of these struggles that are going on in these lives right now, but these struggles do not define me. Today has been that way. I'm telling you, it's not, I, I'm, that's why I'm trying to tell you, it's not, it's not even your fault. <laughs> it's not. We are going through, this moon cycle is taking us through this hundred year cycle. A hundred years of us feeling less than, not whole, not complete, and these vibrations that you're talking about, the generations that we've been raised from, has talked about how hard life is, how life is a struggle, how, I mean, it, we've been taught, talked, they have spoken that so much, it has programmed it into us. And here I'm trying to be here on this channel to flip that script around. Let's take that hopelessness. Let's see what do we change hopelessness into. We can change when the hopelessness comes. When it comes, I want you to allow it to pass through you. Know that it's, that it's something that's in the air, that's around, that we've been taught. We have been taught that that's an okay vibration to live in, but it's not. Because it doesn't give us movement. It actually holds us back. But if when that hopelessness comes in, you can say, I trust in the feeling that's going through me right now. I trust this feeling of hopelessness is here to let me know that it's there. I trust that it's here, letting me know that it still exists and reside in my body. I am hopeful enough to know that I'm not so hopeless, not allowing hopeless to run the show. I am going to find my optimism just by speaking about this live, just by speaking about this when that hopelessness comes in. I'm saying, okay, I recognize you. I recognize you being there. And I trust again that you're there just showing me that you're there. Giving me the chance to nurture you, to care for you, to love you as you were my child that was suffering within. Giving me a chance to rock you, to cradle you, to love you, to shift you around, to feel better. 
because I am that mother of that wound that's going on inside of me. When we have the feeling of struggle, I'm just sharing how we can shift those words around that are in our thoughts that are actually making us feel this lower vibrational way. Yeah, it has been a fearful conditioning. Mm -hmm. So we are going to struggle, the word struggle. When we're struggling, I'm just showing you how to flip this script <laughs> because we're going to take the words and say that when that struggle, yeah, <laughs> it feels a little challenging, but I'm going with it with a flow. I'm going to go flow through this struggling feeling. I'm going to find the peace within me as the struggle feeling is coming into my moment, within to my day. I'm recognizing it being there. And I thank it for showing me that it's there. But I'm here to bring order and peace to that struggling way of a day. But thanking it for showing me that it's in my DNA. <laughs> because I want to bring harmness within. What we have to draw from is not out there. It's in here. Everything I'm teaching you is free. It costs us nothing. It starts with the mind. It's not, it's not an object. It's not a thing. It's starting with the mind to changing what has been difficult. So let's take, this is uh, <clears throat> Molly, we have been trained and program to be operating from all these vibrations that even you're talking about difficult we have been told life is difficult and you're you're being the example for the show for me to help you switch the 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 talk the inner talk the inner dialogue that's going on when difficult comes in yeah, I see that things seem a little difficult. I see that feeling is stuck inside of me somewhere. I'm here to find simple with that difficulty. I'm here to allow myself to be in comfort, even though it seems like it's supposed to be difficult. I trust that I give and give and give to everyone. And I know that it doesn't seem like it's coming back from everyone, but I trust that the universe will provide for me. I'm trusting not in the people. I'm trusting in divine source. I'm trusting in divine flow. I'm trusting in myself. To give to myself confirmation I'm trusting in myself to give to myself I have no one out there to trust in but me that's self-care self-love we have never been taught this confirmation I'm going to bring those things that seem so difficult and I'm going to see the pleasure within somewhere because that difficulty is just something that the way I'm looking at it, but I still am going to bring a comfortable feeling of a way into my day to make it simple. You're not alone, Molly. Most of us, like 98% of us, have been affected and we're going through this together. This is how we raise our vibrational frequency up to a higher vibrational frequency. It starts in the mind. 
So as those things that I'm talking about, if we add the tapping into it, life is being difficult with me right now. So difficult, I can't even see. I can't even see through what all these difficulties there are. Can you bring to me this ease, this ease, this peace? Can you find a comfort within this moment? Because all I got is the now. I don't have the past. I don't have the future. I have right now. Can you find the calmness within? Shift this difficulty around. To let it go, let it go, so my life becomes more of a flow. Because I'm caring enough for who? I'm caring enough for me. For me to be at ease. For me to be at calmness. For me to be at peace. I'm taking the time for me. So can we shift these lower vibrational energies that are coming from our mind set? Yeah, you do feel comfort in this moment because we're shifting the reality around. That lower one that's been sitting around, lagging around in my body, my mind, and my soul. I'm here to love you, to set you free to move you, shift you around. To give my strength back, to give your strength back, whatever that may be. We are here sending hundreds and thousands of positive vibrations out to you, Molly. Catch it, receive it from all of us, from us to you and anyone else that is in your surroundings or near your being or in your conscious mind. We send it to them too. Because we're spreading this love out there into the world. So big. So expansively. So we're going to push it out there like a big old explosion. <laughs> to share in this love. Ah, out to the world. So we can truly shift our mindset around to be operating from this higher vibrational mindset to be operating from love and peace and harmony to be operating from passion and desire as our go-to tool Yes, making sure that what we're giving to you, you can share it back, but you make sure you keep what it is that you need to keep for your own personal growth, for your own healing, not to overgive. Because who you need to give to first, Molly, is yourself. And we're here sending it to you. So what do we want you to do, Molly? Receive. <laughs> Receive this love from us to you. Receive this energy of this higher vibrational flow to allow you to make this shift, this positive shift. To be operating from our loving self without feeling like we're giving ourselves away, but we're just operating from love. That's it. We're just operating from love. We're not giving it away. We're being it. There's a difference. We're not giving it away. We are being that love. For others to receive that love from us. It starts in our mind. Ha <laughs> ha Getting close to Mercury retrograde on the 23rd. Oh no! <laughs> release, 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 repurpose, right? Rebirth, uh huh. Rejuvenate. It is a time for us to raise our vibration up to this higher vibrational way as a collective. Because we're choosing to operate from love within first. So that's all we have to gift out there is love because that's all we are. And somehow in this weird roundabout way, the universe will provide for you 
not the way that life has told us we were going to be provided for. We're being provided for in a different way. So we need to open ourselves up to the different ways that is, that is gifting to us. We can't see it because we haven't lived through it. But it's coming. Because we're trusting life is working for us, not against us. <laughs> you, you don't like Mercury at retrograde? Well, this one's going to be a good one. We're releasing. <laughs> it's going to be a good one because you got me on your side. You got Andrew on your side. You got divine timing on your side. You got the world on your side. <laughs> when you're ta tuned in, tapped in to the right people, the, to the right group, to the right energetical flow, this retrograde will be a little different because <laughs> we're tuned in and tapped in. <laughs> we know it's coming. And when it comes, we're going to go release, 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 release. We let you go. We let you go. We let you go. We're going to repurpose that flow. We're going to repurpose this flow because I know I'm going through a major rebirth and I'm going to take it in with peace. I'm going to take it in with harmony. I'm going to take it in with laughter. I'm going to take it in with play because I'm operating from passion and I'm operating from desire. <laughs> I'm flipping my internal story around. I <laughs> run for the hills. <laughs> and then so we can roll down, right? <laughs> we run up the hill so we can roll down. <laughs> when we're rolling down, it's easier than going up, right? <laughs> so... Mm. It does start with our mind. <laughs> the, the miscommunications Mercury record is so annoying. Well, we're going we're gonna to let that annoyance not annoy us so much. With the miscommunication, we're just going to go, well, they just didn't get it, but I get it. <laughs> I get it. So what if they didn't get it? I get it. I understood. I understood what it is I meant. I understood what I wanted. And, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, let whatever is being misunderstood get, um, I'm going to allow it to go out to the universe, allowing the universe to handle it, allowing the universe to flip that script around, let, letting the people, <laughs> letting the people that know what this shift is all about. Um, it's yeah just say that's it we need instead of instead of running in fear of it let's say hey everything is going to be all right with it that that's really a good one this is the book that i'm always reading from you guys if you ever want to go look it up feelings buried alive never die and we have a bunch of feelings of our own that are buried alive that never die what I pull from this is actually in this book, it actually lists the different feelings in this book. And these are the lower vibrations of the feelings and these are the higher vibrations. That's how I utilize the book. Mm -hmm. We are redoing everything. That's right. We are rewriting re re the script. We're writing our own life story. <laughs> it is an awesome book. I, you know, I'm not really much of a book reader, so I'm a, I'm a type of person I, I see what information that is in this book that I need. And so this book is what I need is, is it lists down all the different emotions. The lower ones is that's what I'm always talking about. So like when we get angry, well, what's the, what is the opposite of anger is forgiveness, love, peace, calmness, mercy. Or like when I get this anxiety, what's the opposite of anxiety is trust, reassure, calm, or peacefulness. And so it really works really good like when if we're doing the tapping, then um, we can uh, rewrite the script through the tapping. I did change the name of the show though from um, um, uh, Magician's Toolbox to Gypsy's Toolbox. I hope you guys like the name, the new name, <laughs> just because it is my toolbox, <laughs> even though I'm pulling it from a magical box, but it's all the tools that I have, so I decided to, um, yeah, I, I bet you it is. I still haven't read the book. I've had the book for a long time, but I'm not much of a reader. I'm, you know, I probably have read six books in my entire life <laughs> from beginning to end or from back to forward. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can read backwards easier. That's the dyslexic in me, I guess. <laughs> so, um, it is about, um, 
again, I did the tapping for the first part of the show. For those that weren't here, go ahead and go back and rewatch it. And yeah, you like the tips. I like it even more too. When it came up, I'm going, why didn't that come up at first? Because it really tied in, because it ties into everything. It ties into my channel name and um, it ties into, you know, who I, when I go out, I call myself Miss Gypsy. So we're calling it Gypsy's Toolbox. So I, I had to go redo a lot of things to go ahead head and you like it too good 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 so that's what it is that's the new name that's the name it'll it's gonna stay out <laughs> i had to you know sometimes you have to do a lot of brainstorming to come up with the right name but that's the name it's gonna end up with so all right you guys i hope you enjoyed this uh show today and um i will be back next um next wednesday i probably am going to talk about hono pono pono some maybe one time i can get um harry be happy on the channel and maybe we can talk about hono pono pono together uh, i don't know if he'll come on this next time or not or if i'm even ready for that yet or not <clears throat> but um uh yeah what i like to do with the hono pono pono is i like to kind of combine it into <laughs> the dog of Alatia. she validates everything yeah <laughs> miss gypsy's toolbox yeah um and what i like to tie in the hono pono pono with is with the eft with the emotional uh, freedom technique is um because i like to kind of like do the both <laughs> at the same time yeah, that's just that's going in super speed going faster gear faster 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 let's get it done all right you guys i am going to end the part of the, this part of the show i'm i uh, love you guys so very much thank you for showing up and coming in and being part of the chat box and um i haven't posted anything else this week it, it, you know adding a new show added more uh, responsibilities on and uh, then my uber has been more scheduled rides instead of um, just doing weekend rides which is doing a shift on me and a shift on my body um maybe my whole channel shifting around to this medicine woman <laughs> but yeah with Naya's my confirmation box all along she is so psychically in tune <laughs> it just blows my mind away that i love her so much so all right you guys i love you thank you so much until next time catch